G'day everybody, it's Jared Gray here and uh, we're bringing you another one of our one take walkthroughs which we just love doing so much, Max and I. Uh, and we're here, number 25 Walker's Lane. Uh, letters and parcels go there, bring all your money this way. Like it, don't you? Uh, so anyhow, we're here walking down the hill as you walk down the driveway, but look where we are. Uh, for those of you who don't know Walker's Lane, there's a couple of streets that are up high. Hargroves Road, Walker's Lane in Bright, drops down to Blue Gum and Danica. But Walker's one, Lane is one of those premium spots where you get million dollar views. And if you buy 25 Walker's Lane, you don't even need to pay us a million bucks. Uh, if you want to pay us a million bucks, you can. Of course, we'll happily accept it. Um, folding, please. Uh, no bank checks. Um, anyhow, look at this dog. We've just missed the best of the pink. But um, what you can't see just yet is, is the kitchen's in behind the dogwood. And when you look out, of the kitchen window as I have in the last couple of weeks as this home's been coming, uh, getting ready to come on the market. Uh, the light that comes through in the pink, just uh, amazing. Just reminds you how beautiful spring is. Anyhow, the gardens are a real feature here. Uh, I'll talk about the house in a moment. And, but when Ken and Di, our owners, bought this, it was just bare, bare, and I mean real bare bones. It had been a holiday home for years and years, originally built in 85. And um, they've given me this massive list of all the um, plants that they've planted. Max is gonna ring them down on the, bring them down on the screen for you so you can see them all just so you know I'm not uh, telling you a few little fibs um, but there are the, the color the, the gardens are so amazing anyhow back to the house so what have they done they've done absolute truckloads since they bought this place um, first thing first is that um, they spent about 30 grand on new drainage all in underneath here they ripped off all the veranda around the whole place um, outside got work all new windows I'll talk about those in a minute but anyhow, underneath underneath here there's this uh, yeah they had to re-membrane and waterproof and drainage and you name it to make sure that the footings for the house were nice and dry. So they did all that, then they, as I said, ripped off the veranda, all new veranda, steel frames, stainless steel pop rivets and everything you can see. And then when they're putting it back together, they, because uh, the whole inside got stripped out, um, packed a whole heap of insulation in it, uh, you know, on the all the paint on the iron, it was all heat reflective. And these are uh, uh, windows, as you'll see, we're going around low uh, UPVC um, argon field. E glass, you know, they are so thermally efficient. And they've got these, I don't know if you've ever seen this, they've got these very cool retractable fly screens. Who would have thought of that? Such a good idea. Don't have to uh, just pop them away. There is a little handle for those for shorter people. Um, so, yeah, retractable fly screens, fantastic. Um, anyhow, um, we've got blinds, I tell you, everything's retractable. We've got blinds on this side, we've got electric blinds out the front, you'll see those in a minute. Uh, but if it can open, shut, wind up, wind down, we've got it here. But of course, part of the reason you're buying this house is voila! As I said, million dollar views, just not quite for a million bucks. Um, Ken's Lexus doesn't come with the sale, unfortunately. He's pretty fell, pretty pretty tied to that Lexus. Uh, but yeah, car, car, car accommodation down there. And straight below where Max and I are now, if you just go drive down, drive in, garage underneath us, workshop space, etc. cetera. Uh, but as I was saying, so the whole inside got stripped down, packed with insulation, and where they put in new windows, they re-insulated in there. Um, yeah, it, this place is so thermally efficient. And we, of course, face, it's middle of the day, we face due north. Well, it's actually sort of one o'clock-ish, but you know, on uh, the good Lord's time, that's 12 o'clock. And um, so we got all this beautiful sunshine coming in. And of course, uh, it's not winter right now, it's spring, but this also comes in, you know, and starts to come inside over winter. Uh, as I said, opening and shutting. So we've got these stacked back doors. Max and I will kick our shoes off, which take us into inside behind, more opening and shutting retractable fly screens if you don't mind. We'll let a few blowies in with us and come in. This place, oh, look, you've, you've got to come and see some of these homes, but we know that the videos reveal a bit more for you. But it's beautiful. We're in on the cork tiles. They feel so beautiful underfoot. You can see the home's built for a couple um, or maybe a two and one. We'll run through that in a moment, but it's also built to entertain. And that's the whole home, just the way it connects to the outside is, is again, something you've got to see to believe, but it's it just beautiful, a connection back through to the undercover outdoor living space. But heaps of room here. Six, you can have two on the end, eight, have some friends over, a couple of glasses of wine, nice meal there. And then, um, of course, the centerpiece of the home is this stunning Wilco Cabinets kitchen. Um, and I don't know, Max, you can, even these little tiles, they're just like, it's just like artwork. Uh, again, you, you won't get it all, of course, but yeah, amazing. And then the beautiful, the mix of the timber, and then the colors that they've chosen in their stone tops that pick up on the timber, 
Anyhow, um, an absolute masterpiece. I know I go on about Wilco's kitchen, so that's because I want a discount uh, when he does one for me. But no, that's because he does really good kitchens. Um, but if uh, it opens and shuts here, it's been done. Soft everything, you name it, beautiful. Uh, induction cooking, big quasar uh, extraction fan under there. Semi-concealed Miele dishwasher there, the beautiful big deep sink. Um, steam oven, warmer, uh, pyrolytic oven. It's here, I tell you, the kitchen's just so beautiful. And then through to a butler's pantry. And I'll stop talking while Max shows you that. And just one little thing on butler's pantries, as Max, you go back that way, I'm just gonna point to something here, but turn and look at me, um, is often in a butler's pantry, one quick way of saving a few dollars is you do a matching laminex top. But these guys have continued to stone through because it's such a feature. You can see they've even got the, uh, the, the drainer. Uh, grouted into the, um, or oh, sorry, routed, routed into the stone top. Um, beautiful, 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 too good. Uh, so anyhow, here we are, as I was saying, so we're back, we've got all this lovely flow between the kitchen and dining space, and then uh, his and hers, of course. Ta-da! I'll just kick back over here for a minute. Tell ya, not a bad spot to kick back and bit of footy grand final on, on Saturday. I've let her fly in, oopsie daisy. And um, with a bit of luck, Geelong and Richmond belt the absolute living suitcases out of each other. Uh, so anyhow, you could put in a, a couch there or something, but the his and hers works well. There's power in the floor if you want the powered version. We've got um, reverse cycles everywhere, and we've got these big ass fans. And that's ass A-double-S, -S, uh, cause that is actually a fan brand. But uh, again, they're incredibly quiet, real top of the line sort of stuff. And it's like everything uh, that's been done here, it's been no, no expenses being spared. Um, master bedroom, this end of the home. So it gets the, that morning light in and then we've got that lovely northern view. Max might be able to get a bit of a look at it across the bed. But I tell you, not a bad spot to wake up and have a bit of a look out and go, what's happening in the Ovens Valley today? Hmm, let me see. Nothing. I'm going to stay here. No, I'm going to go for a bike ride. Splitty in here, another big ass here as well. All the flush lighting really matches in beautifully. And then into the ensuite. So we've got cork tiles. Uh, we've got tiles in there I'll talk about. We've got the cork tile flooring here. It's so beautiful. All drains to the corner. We've got the his and hers. The floating vanity gives you that lovely sense of space. And then we've got through to the uh, walk-in robe, which Max can give you a really quick sneak peek at. We've got lights, lights, lights everywhere in case you want to look at yourself really delicately in the mirror. And then we've got the, hello, we've got the deep bath here for a nice soak. The padded headrest and uh, yeah, I won't dive in there today, but that'd be a good spot. And then um, here, floor heat for in the shower recess, which goes around the corner, the nice walk-in. Uh, that's all heated and even when you look in the loo, yep, you wouldn't believe it, the loo seat is heated as well, of course, just because you can and if you don't want a cold tush when you're going to the toilet. Um, so yep, we'll move on from that because that just leads me nowhere. Uh, but yeah, anyhow, more built-ins, built-ins, the cabinetry bill will have been, uh, I think that's why Adam Williams retired actually when he finished his house. No, he hasn't retired. Uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, as I said, no expense spared. One quick fun fact, this is the only wall left in the original house that was all pine lined and you can see it's been painted but just a bit of a throwback to the past we kept the kept that original wall there well, when i say we the owners did uh, splitty as i mentioned so yeah um i've just put this down to show you so bedroom number two has the fold down bed um so anyhow that's like that but just to show you how easy it is i just didn't want to um come through and not give you the reveal this has all been built in, uh, handmade again by Adam Williams to suit this room. So cupboard for your guests, they've got the fold down. But then as these guys are, they do a bit of work on the computer. We're all set up, ready, and it's the home office by day. Spare bed for the person who drinks too much and needs to stay that night by night. Uh, these guys, of course, also, if you're down this end, they enjoy their own uh, ensuite. Uh, matching towels, beautiful, um, but no, I'm kidding. Uh, but the floating vanity really ties in beautifully. And then, coming back through here, Laundry, uh, all fitted out beautifully. Uh, space for the front loader, hanging space, you name it. And one recent addition, all the house was redone in uh, 2015. It was originally built in 1985, but uh, Ken and, and uh, Di undertook all the renos in 2015 with Jamie Armstrong, quality builder. Hello, Jamie. Thumbs up. Uh, then recently they added, uh, 12, 18 months ago, this mudroom on the side. And it's amazing the amount of storage all of a sudden that it adds to the home. So yeah, just from a livability point of view, perfect. Of course, it's also got the uh, doggy doors on either end and that suits Banjo and Henry. Henry, the uh, two most important uh, occupants of the house, the dogs. So here's their room, but a great mudroom out the side. And then look out, we're back out here. 
So, what can I tell you about the outside? Oh my lord, yeah, big ass fan again. Um, have a look at the photos, the way this cantilevered roof sits above the roof line. It, it actually really beautifully ties in. Uh, but then the other things Ken and I have done, we've got the blinds there, electric, just push a button on the wall, they come down, you can't see them at the moment here. But these plantation shutters, open them up to catch a breeze, close them to stop off that western sun, you can see they all fold back, blah, blah, blah. And then even the Barbie, Max, the Barbie's got its own deck up here. That's just getting a bit too crazy. So um, Barbie's got a deck, there's power out here, there's water out here, so you could set up, if you want, the big flash version that's got the um, you know, the inbuilt sink and all that sort of stuff. But not a bad view when you're cooking bacon eggs on a Sunday morning. Anyhow, back to where we were, which is this fantastic outdoor living space. Yeah, I'll stop talking for a minute. Just imagine yourself out here. It's just something else. So, what do we got? We're seven meters by six meters. It takes in just the most lovely outlook of the garden. And as I was saying earlier, this was just bare bank. And uh, you've seen all the all the pictures, all the um, all the plant names come up on the screen. And now you get to appreciate them. Uh, the work that the guys have put in is amazing. And uh, as I said before, garden shed, car parking space down there, um, the you know little fountain going. It's just so idyllic. And then you get to take in that view. And then uh, when you're sick of standing and talking like I am, don't grab those fake apples like I was going to have a pretend bite of one, but I won't. Uh, you just do this, done. Ken hasn't actually filled that bottle up, which is a shame because a glass of champers out here would be pretty darn good. What do you reckon, Max? Got a nod from Max, you can't see it, I can. Uh, but ladies and gents, 25 Walkers Lane, do yourself a favor. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, car underneath, car out here, uh, it, it's, it is, just beautiful executive living, uh, as I said, but we can we can have it set up that, you know, uh, you've got the bedroom there if you want the bedroom full time. If you're just running your uh, your office as these guys are, then it's just so comfortable, so casual. Uh, it's not pretentious, but gee, the, the quality of the workmanship and the, the um, you know, the thoughtfulness that's gone into the design is, is something else. Experienced Hands created this and uh, Obviously, we'd love to hand it over to someone else who appreciates exactly what's been done here. So Max will put all of our details up on the screen. Thanks so much for watching um, our latest one-take walkthrough here at 25 Walkers Lane. Can't wait to talk to you about this property, and we'll see you on the next one.